So I've published, I've made even more than I've published, a lot of videos on celestial biology, ancestral intelligence, and I want to make a, a how should we say this, um, in as much as I've attempted to paint a picture of the world as it is, or as one might observe it to be, which is not very hard on a broad scale to lead to see large cause and effect relationships that have elements within our own family dynamics. But that in order to make the world the way it is, the order for the world to be the way it is, to function as a predator, uh, definitely on par with as predatory as the earth itself would be to a people who had no technology and no shelter whatsoever. It's, it's absolutely that predatory. If you look at the cause and effect relationships, is that in order to prey on people this way, you need to cultivate a certain mental state among people, either discreetly in their own minds or in systems uh, upon which they've come to depend. And that is the mental state of sociopathy. And so, no matter how much I've written and taught about sociopathy, I don't think I, I've come even near to a really easily accessible but sufficiently comprehensive way of treating this mental disorder, so-called personality disorder, because it is so prevalent, it might as well be a healthy mental state. Uh, in my own family, so five of my six family members became um, clinically sociopathic, and they function quite well in the world. So just, just if you've never seen my videos before, let's quickly dispense with this idea that a, a sociopath is always a serial killer. That's, that's nowhere near. That probably is 2% of the population, but we're talking about 90% of the population. 80 to 90%. 100% is basically under the influence and is compatible with large-scale military-grade sociopathy. It's, 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 if you're going to talk about what society is, if you're going to talk about um, big things about society, you at some point you have to talk about a sociopathy that is virtually... virtually amniotic and its prevalence and its influence over all of the limbs of all of the so-called development of man. So that's a, that's a broad statement, but fortunately or unfortunately it's very comprehensive and it's very precise. It's very accurate. <laughs> it's very hard to dispute, to refute, to repudiate. It's very hard to do that. And in fact, in order to do that, you actually need to draw from sociopathic religion and sociopathic mental states. That's how we'll begin our day. We'll be in Heritage Forest today.